Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel Wisdom Tutorials. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe. So students, in the previous video, we started with linear equations in two variables. We covered two methods of solving linear equations, right? The first one was elimination and the second one was substitution. Now in the next 15 minutes students, we are going to learn the third method for solving linear equations, which is the graphical method. So let us start with the third method for solving linear equations, the graphical method. Now students, to understand graphical method, there are some really important points that we need to understand first. Let us understand them. Point number one. Remember this students, every linear equation represents a straight line on the graph. Now its meaning is? Now whenever you are plotting a linear equation on the graph, you are supposed to get a straight line. Okay? Ek equation ko graph pe plot kiya, straight line mil gaya, line mil gaya. Isi liye the word linear equations. Okay? Point number two. Two equations will be solved simultaneously when we are solving a sum. Now see, whenever we are solving a sum, hum kya karenge? Do equations ko ek saath ek hi graph pe plot karenge. So we will get two lines on the graph. Right? Let us understand this with the help of an example. Suppose this is the graph which we have linear equation plot. So let us say this line represents any general linear equation number one. The second line represents any general linear equation number two. Two lines ko ek hi graph pe we are plotting together. Understood? This is how the sum is going to be. Now graph hai, to isse we get very important point number three. Whenever you are plotting the graph, Remember this point students, the scale should be properly written, the coordinates of the lines, if coordinates of the points on the lines should be properly written, the axis should be mentioned and the origin should be there. Kuch bhi miss ho gaya, you lose your marks. So remember all these points students. Now point number four students, the point of intersection of these two lines on the graph will give us the common solution. Like in this case, the point of intersection is let us say minus 3 comma 4. So minus 3 comma 4 will be the common solution for these two linear equations. Now students, you might be wondering, is it necessary that lines are intersecting? Yogi? The answer is no. Because we know lines intersecting, ho sakti hai, parallel ho sakti hai, ya fir overlapping, bhi ho sakti hai, right? So there might be some conditions for them. Let us understand those conditions. Condition number one students, if the linear equations that we are solving, if the pair of linear equations have one and only one unique solution, there's only one solution, so the nature of the lines is going to be intersecting. Perfect students, a single solution, but the lines are going to be intersecting. Now what if the lines have no common solution? Koi common solution hai hi nahi. Now if there is no common solution, Matlab no point of intersection and no point of intersection matlab lines ka nature kya ho jayega? The lines will be parallel. Wonderful students. Now a core condition. What if we have more than one common solution? More than one common solution aya matlab remember the lines will always be coinciding. Coinciding matlab overlapping. First line usi ke upar a jayega second line. So remember whenever you have more than one common solution, you will get infinite solutions. And infinite solution kab milega when the lines are coinciding or overlapping. So I hope this concept is clear students. Now students, let us solve a question using this graphical method. So on the screen there are two linear equations. x plus y equals to 6 and x minus y equals to 4. Step number one is common for all the methods. Kya tha step number one? Numbering the equations. Wonderful. So let us number both the equations. x plus y equals to 6 will become our equation number one. And x minus y equals to 4 ko lete hai equation number two. Now step number two students. Consider any one equation first. Break down karke samaste. So let us consider equation number one first. Which is x plus y equals to 6. Now, it is saying that we have to assume any three values of our choice 
for any one variable now before assuming students understand this thing you can assume the values for x you can assume the values for y it's your choice koi bhi problem nahi hai so let us assume the values for y in this case and get the corresponding values of x so iske liye let us form a table first x y and last may we'll write down the point x comma y so the first value of y we are assuming is 2 now if y is 2 x which was equal to 6 minus y will become 6 minus 2 y ka value is 2 so x ka value will be 4 let us fill this in the table so x ka value is 4 y ka value is 2 the point will be 4 comma let us assume one more value for y. Let us say y is equals to 0 in the second case. We are assuming the value students remember it's a koi bhi pattern nahi hai. We are just assuming the values. So y equals to 0. So x will become 6 minus 0 in this case. So x ka value will be 6. Let us fill these values in the table. x ka value 6, y ka value 0. So the point will be 6 comma 0 perfect students let us assume one more value three values assume karne, right so let us assume one more value y is equals to minus 2 so now x will be 6 minus of minus 2 which is nothing but 6 plus 2 so x ka value will get 8 let us fill these values in the table so x ka value 8 y ka value minus 2 and the point will be 8 comma minus 2 now students step number three step number three is repeating step number two for the second equation we have considered the first equation so now let us consider equation number two and repeat the steps so equation number two which was x minus y equals to four let us isolate x minus y ko shift kar diya to x is four minus y will transpose and become plus y let us assume three values for this equation as well. So now y ka first value we are taking 2. So x will become 4 plus y matlab 4 plus 2. So x ka value will be 6. Let us assume the second value. Let us say y equals to 0. So x will become 4 plus 0 matlab 4. Mil gaya second value. Let us assume the third value. y equals to minus 2. So x will become 4 minus 2 matlab x ka value is 2 if we have assumed the values of y and got the corresponding values of x let us fill these values in the table so dono linear equations ke points we have got now let us plot this point on the graph now students let us start the graph by first drawing both the axes so the vertical one horizontal one now let us mention the axis right side may x left side mein x dash origin ke upar y origin ke niche y dash let us plot these points now now points likhne ke pehle we'll have to write down the scale students now the scale that we are taking is one centimeter as one unit on both the axis one centimeter is one unit on both the axis let us write down the points to coordinates likh dete sare x coordinate of the right hand side sub positive left hand side may all negative origin ke upar positive origin ke niche negative we all know this right now let us plot the points so equation number one ka table dekhte. the first point that we have to plot is 4 comma 2 matlab the x coordinate is 4 and the y coordinate is 2 so this over here is the first point 4 comma 2 remember students whenever you are plotting the point write down the coordinates as well the second point is 6 comma 0 now if you notice the y coordinate is 0 and whenever the y coordinate is 0 matlab point kaha pe aega? it will lie on the x axis wonderful to so, x axis pe 6 comma 0 and the last point is 8 comma minus 2 the x coordinate is 8 the y coordinate is minus 2 so this is the point 8 comma minus 2. So first equation get three no points. Let us join the points and draw a line. So this line 
represents the first equation x plus y equals to 6. Students remember always write down the equation on the line so that baad mein kuch confusion nahi. Now let us plot the points of the second equation. This is the table. The first point is 6 comma 2. Again the x coordinate is 6. The y coordinate is 2. So aake 6 comma 2. The second one is 4 comma 0. Again the y coordinate is 0. Matlab point kaha pe lai karega? It will lie on the x axis wonderful 4 comma 0 on the x axis and the last point is 2 comma minus 2 the x coordinate is 2 the y coordinate is minus 2 this point represents 2 comma minus 2 the no points okay let us join them and line one again students we are getting a straight line remember you will always get a straight line and if you are not getting a straight line matlab calculation mein kuch to problem hai to cross check kar lena this is the second line x minus y equals to 4. Now students remember that important point number 4. The point of intersection of these two lines will give us the common solution. Now here students the lines are intersecting lines. Intersecting lines matlab only one common solution. So here the point of intersection which is pi comma 1 is the common solution for both the equations. Write down the final statement and the sum is complete. I hope you have understood the sum. Now students, let us take one more example of a sum using graphical method. Now students, the question is, draw the graphs of these two equations. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines with the x-axis and shade the triangular region. Now students, this sum is two parts mein divided. Hai. So let us first focus on the initial part, which is draw the graphs of this equation. So let us start by numbering the equation. Step number one, x minus y plus one equals to zero, equation number one. And three x plus two y minus 12 equals to zero is our equation number two. Now step number two students, consider any one equation. So let us consider the first equation, x minus y plus one equals to zero. Now students, let us form the table x, y and x comma y. Here students, I am going to assume only two values. The third value you are going to assume by yourself. But assume the third value students, solve for three values, remember? Okay. Now, let us take the first value of x this time. Let us assume x as 0. So when x will be 0, the equation will become 0 minus y plus 1 equals to 0. So minus y will be equal to plus 1 ko transpose kar diya. It will become minus 1. Minus signs cancel ho jayega and y ka value will be 1. Let us write the value in the table. y ka value is 1. So the first point is 0 comma 1. Let us assume one more value. Now let us assume one value of y. So when y equals to 0 suppose. So x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 will become x minus 0 plus 1 equals to 0. Perfect. Transpose plus 1 to the left and right hand side. So x will become minus 1. So when y is 0, x ka value will be minus 1. So the point we have is minus 1 comma 0. Now the third point you are going to assume by yourself. Let us consider equation number 2. Equation number 2 is 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. Same, here we let us form that table. x, y and x comma y. Let us assume the first value of x as 0. When x will be 0, the equation will become 3 into 0 plus 2y minus 12 equals to 0. So this will 3 into 0 is 0. So 2y minus 12 will be 0. Minus 12 ko transpose kar diya. So 2y is 12 and y ka value will be 6. So when we assumed x as 0, y ka value we got as 6. So the first point is 0 comma 6. Let us assume one more value. Now this time let us assume y as 0. So the equation will become 3x plus 2 into 0 minus 12 equals to 0. So 3x plus 2 into 0 is 0. 
माइनस ट्वेल्व राइट माइनस ट्वेल्व को ट्रांसपोज कर दिया तो थ्री एक्स इज ट्वेल्व एक्स का वैल्यू विल बी लेट एस फेल द वैल्यू इन द टेबल y का वैल्यू जीरो लिया x का वैल्यू इज फोर द पॉइंट इज फोर कॉमा जीरो तो नाउ वी हैव ऑल द पॉइंट्स लेट अस प्लॉट दिस पॉइंट्स ऑन द ग्राफ ग्राफ बना दिया द एक्सेस आर मेंशन ओरिजिन मेंशन किया है स्केल लिख रहा है लेट अस प्लॉट द पॉइंट्स फॉर द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज जीरो कॉमा वन नाउ जीरो कॉमा वन द एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट इज जीरो मतलब द पॉइंट लाइज ऑन द वाई एक्सिस परफेक्ट तो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट जीरो कॉमा वन राइट डाउन द कोऑर्डिनेट्स द सेकेंड पॉइंट इज माइनस वन कॉमा जीरो योर द वाई कोऑर्डिनेट इज जीरो मतलब द पॉइंट लाइज ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस तो दिस इज द सेकेंड पॉइंट माइनस वन कॉमा जीरो लेट एस ज्वाइन द पॉइंट एंड ड्रॉ अ लाइन राइट डाउन द इक्वेशन ऑन द लाइन फर्स्ट लाइन डन सेम वे में Let us plot the points for the second line. Zero comma six. Again, x coordinate zero. So point कहाँ पे आ जाएगा? On the y-axis. Perfect, student. Zero comma six. And the second point is four comma zero. Y coordinate is zero. मतलब point will be on the x-axis. Perfect, students. Four comma zero. Let us join the points and draw a line. Write down the equation. Point of intersection मिल गया. The lines are intersecting. तो पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन मिल गया लेट अस हाईलाइट द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन एंड द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज थ्री कॉमा टू द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सम इज लेट अस फोकस ऑन द सेकंड पार्ट डिटरमाइन द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द ट्रायंगल फॉर्म्ड बाय दीज लाइंस एंड एक्स एक्सिस नाउ स्टूडेंट्स ये दोनों लाइन एक्स एक्सिस के साथ दे आर मेकिंग वन ट्रायंगल फोकस ऑन दैट पार्ट कैन यू सी दिस यस वी हैव टू राइट The vertices, the coordinates of the vertices of this triangle, right? So let us highlight the vertices: three comma two, four comma zero, and minus one comma zero. Let us shade this triangle, and final answer. May we are going to write down the coordinates of the vertices of this triangle, which are three comma two, four comma zero, and minus one comma zero. I hope the sum is clear, students. So students I hope this video was helpful to you all please like share and subscribe the channel let us know in the comment section if you face any difficulty we'll see you in the next video tab tak ke liye everyone stay home stay safe take care